welcome to my new video which is based on z transform or you can say z transform z transform has many applications regarding uh, the solution of difference equations so what are z transforms let us suppose we have a function we have a function un which is equals to zero and another arbitrary constant as a so how can you evaluate that values that z transform z transform for any variable in the form of un is equals to sigma n 0 to infinity un z raised to power minus n what does it mean let us suppose we have to find out the value of z transform of a raised to power n so it comes out to be z upon z minus a how let us see so we have to find out the z uh, transform of a raised to power n the formula is for sigma n is equals to 0 to infinity un un is basically a n here a raised to power n z raised to power n okay now if you substitute the value of 0 to infinity 1 by 1 firstly let us suppose n is 0 so a 0 okay then 1 then 2 and so on this is infinite series how can we evaluate it this is 1 a by z, a by z square, whole square, and so on. So this is the infinite GP, whose common ratio is a by z. So what is the formula of sum of infinite GP? Starts from 1. It is 1 upon a minus r. 1 upon 1 minus r, you can say. So 1 minus r is what? a minus z. So this becomes z upon z minus a. I hope you understand. So in this way, you can for, uh, form you can form the formula for z is uh, z transform of h one and hence so on. Now there are so many properties of z transform like linearity, damping. What are they? Let us discuss about them. So linearity is the property in which you have to distribute the um, z transform or z transform into the addition operation or subtraction operation. How can you do it? Listen. Let us suppose we have this term of different variables and you have to find out the z transform of this whole term. So what you have to do, you have to just uh, take out the common uh, constant term out and the z transform of un plus b has come, b has come out, z transform of vn minus c has come out, z transform of vn. I hope you understand. And the second thing, the damping property says that, let us suppose you have z transform of un is equals to uz just like this so if you find out the z transform of a inverse un so you have to just multiply this value with z term okay now we are going to discuss or, uh, some illustrations over it let us see here you have to find the z transform of n plus 1 whole square firstly apply the formula for a plus b whole square, it will become a square plus b square plus 2ab. And the z transform of uh, the whole this term is what? Linear, pro you have to apply linearity, linear property here. So just z transform of n square plus z transform of 1 plus 2 z transform of n. Okay, so z transform of n square will become? You can see here, here a is 1, n square becomes z, z square. If you apply a, you can see 1, n is 0, n square. n is what here? Uh, here, z n square will become z square plus z upon z minus a, which is 1. Okay? z transform 1, you can see 1, 1, uh, if z, z minus 1, okay? And twice of z transform of n, z transform of n becomes z upon z minus 1 whole square. Okay, so this is how you can solve the linearity property. Okay, the rest of the topic we will discuss in our next class. Uh, till then, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.